Yellowstone National Park is once again at the center of scientific and global attention. On Saturday morning, a series of unusual geological phenomena rocked the Norris Geyser Basin, signaling extraordinary activity at one of the world's most closely watched supervolcano. Hundreds of bison were spotted moving away from the center of the thermal basin, while scientists from the United States Geological Survey USGS, recorded four significant events that could signal something much larger and not yet fully understood. Seismic activity, magma movement, the emergence of a new thermal area, and the recent eruption of Steamboat Geyser. Yellowstone is more than just a national park. Beneath its surface lies a giant caldera, formed by the eruption of an ancient supervolcano. Although it has not shown any eruptive activity in modern history, Yellowstone has always been under close scrutiny due to its devastating potential. This time, four major events occurred almost simultaneously, and scientists are interpreting them as geological communication from the subsurface magma system. More than 389 earthquakes, with an average magnitude of 5.4, occurred in less than 48 hours around the Norris Geyser Basin, one of Yellowstone's most thermally unstable areas. This activity indicates an extraordinary concentration of energy, which could indicate a shift in pressure from below. We haven't seen a swarm this large since 1985, and that indicates pressure is building, said Dr. Helen Vargas, a USGS seismologist. These earthquakes are no ordinary earthquakes. They are called seismic swarms, a series of earthquakes occurring close together in time and location without a main shock. This characteristic typically occurs when hot fluids such as superheated water or magma, move through cracks in the rock, creating stress and fractures in the Earth's crust. Underground sensors installed by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, indicate increased pore pressure and small changes in the orientation of rock fractures. This suggests that hot fluids or gases are trying to rise, possibly because magmatic activity at depth is experiencing accumulated stress. In addition to the seismic swarm, GPS and INSAR, Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, data show significant ground rise above the caldera with elevations increasing by up to 12 centimeters in the past week. This indicates the movement of hot fluid, magma, toward the surface, although not yet at a rate close to that of an eruption. We are witnessing the breathing of a waking giant, said Dr. Michael Ingram, a volcanologist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO. Researchers note that the uplift detected at Yellowstone is not a single event, but rather part of a long-term pattern showing fluctuations in pressure within the magma chamber and hydrothermal system. However, the rate of this uplift is unusually high, and it occurs simultaneously with the earthquake swarm and rising ground temperatures. YVO's numerical model predicts that hot fluid in the form of young magma, partially molten rock, may have begun to infiltrate shallower magma chambers. This causes the overlying rock to expand and push the surface upward. However, it is important to remember that the presence of magma does not necessarily mean an eruption will occur. The Yellowstone system is incredibly complex. 
Magma can stall, solidify or spread in other directions without ever reaching the surface, explained Dr. Ingram. Shortly after hundreds of powerful earthquakes and significant ground uplift of up to 12 centimeters around the Yellowstone caldera, a new phenomenon caught the attention of scientists. The discovery of a new hotspot on the western side of the Norris Geyser Basin. This area showed signs of previously unrecorded geothermal activity, characterized by the drying of vegetation within 24 hours and soil temperatures soaring to over 90 degrees Celsius. This phenomenon provides important clues about how Yellowstone's hydrothermal system reacts to post-earthquake pressure and internal changes. Major earthquakes and ground uplift are typically closely linked to the movement of magma and hot fluids beneath the surface. As pressure increases in shallow magma chambers, the caprock strains and fractures, blocking or altering old pathways for hot fluids. Under these conditions, hot fluids seek alternative routes, forming new ones to the surface, as seen in the new hotspot at Norris. The formation of this new hot zone is the hydrothermal system's response to reducing internal pressure, explained Dr. Michael Ingram, a volcanologist at YVO. It's like fluids finding a new outlet after the old one has become blocked. The spike in soil temperatures, reaching 90 degrees Celsius in the area, causes rapid damage to plants and microorganisms. Plant roots are highly sensitive to high temperatures and volcanic gas levels, particularly hydrogen sulfide, HS, and carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, which can poison the soil and accelerate vegetation death. These conditions not only alter the physical landscape, but also affect the micro and macro ecosystems surrounding the hot zone. The discovery of this new hot zone on the west side of Norris is clear evidence that Yellowstone is not a static system, but rather a dynamic one that continually adapts to internal changes, particularly after major earthquakes and uplifts. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest geyser, erupted with extraordinary intensity. This was the eighth eruption this year alone an unprecedented number in modern records. Experts suspect the eruption is related to underground pressure and an unstable steam system. The Steamboat Geyser eruption coincided with hundreds of moderate to significant earthquakes that shook the Norris Geyser Basin area, as well as uplift of up to 12 centimeters in recent weeks. Experts suspect that the earthquake swarm and uplift indicate shallow magma movement, causing increased pressure in the subsurface hydrothermal system. As a result, steam pathways that may have previously been closed or restricted are now opening wider, allowing the release of steam and hot water at much greater volumes and pressures. This explains why Steamboat Geyser is erupting more frequently and with greater intensity. While the increased eruptions of Steamboat Geyser indicate instability in Yellowstone's steam system, volcanologists emphasize that this does not necessarily signal an imminent major volcanic eruption. Yellowstone has a complex system that balances pressure through various release mechanisms, including geyser eruptions and other hydrothermal activity. Therefore, the more frequent eruptions of steamboat geyser can actually be seen as nature's way of gradually releasing energy. Dr. Michael Ingram of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory added, this activity should be monitored closely, but there is no evidence yet that we are heading towards a major eruption. This system is highly dynamic and has gone through similar cycles in the past, 